Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is a June 19, 22 variant and code of 4024, D syllabus of a GCSE syllabus mathematics. So we have our question number nine here, and we have a, a prism, okay, triangle prism. You can see this is a cross-section area and throughout remain the same. So what the question is asking here, first of all, AB, I think the very clear, uh, we have this kind of thing is given, okay. There's a C, there's a B, and there's an A. Basically, extract the triangle and make separate. And this is 27, this is 14, this is a 15. And need to find. So you can simply do side and middle angle we have to find, including angle we find, a cosine rule, okay. So cosine rule says what in front of what is this AB. So AB squared equal to 15 squared plus 40 squared minus 2 into 15 times to 14 times to cause of the angle between them. So let's find the answer. Uh, the working is here. 15 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 into 15 into 14 into cause of 27. And best, write exact value, like I mean to say uh, what you got, at least 5 dPs. That's the place. And then you take the root of the whole, it gives you 6.83939. And then you write, write 3 SL because it's not exact due to the cause, it recurring. So we have to 3 SL. I need, I need, I need, I don't want. Bigger than 4 add. So 6.84 centimeter. And we go on the first part clear. He's asking here that if the volume of the prism is 1000 centimeter cube, find the P. Like this. And we have a volume formula. Like any prism, so volume formula we have is equal to cross area into length. Okay, and volume is 1000, and cross area we have, we can find it, how come? Because triangle half into A, into B, into sine theta, this is cross area, and times to length is P, okay. So let's type it, half into 14 into 15 into sine 27, don't type cos, sine here. So answer, here's 1000 and this is coming 47.669 and then two zeros, no need to write it and now it goes down to so 1000 divided by an, an angle, which is this value, it gives you 20.97799 but I need 3SF, you know, again sign comes so the recurring is there so if you add it here, this is 9 and actually 0, 9, become 10, so 21. So it means approximately 21 coming here, okay. Now let's go for the this part, okay. So this part is actually what he uh, fitted the full, this prism in a box. You can see that I made a box. And this is a triangle, is the fitted there. And he's saying the length of, of, the, of, the, of the, this prism 15, sorry, this, and this P, and this, uh, this is a 14, so everything mentioned here, this angle 27. He's asking what is the height of that? So naturally, I think we have to drop a line here. Like, if I drop a line here from the top, here, this is 90 degree. Okay, and this angle is 27. So we got a triangle, we got a triangle, which kind of triangle, 90 degree, this is 14, this is 27, and this is my height, so opposite by hypotenuse, all of you know it, is sine theta, opposite is the height, and hypotenuse is the 14, and theta is 27, it multiplies there, and 14 times to sine 27. This gives us 6.3558. But as I said you, we need 3SF. So height becomes 6.36 centimeter. This required height is required 
to fit in the box.